for for me being on the of course on the on the on the on the playing side uh, for so many years. Uh, I, I often s spoke to and talked about you know these special moments when you go on court and you can just feel, hey, this is this is one of the big ones. Yeah, you know, yeah. this is uh, one of the big ones against Taufik or, or Lindan or yeah. Chungwei or, or you can play like a compatriot. Yeah. And sometimes you will feel that yeah, yeah, that tension. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, maybe course. it's a young compatriot. Yeah. Come, you know, I was also <laughs> yeah, all your best friend. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So so. Uh, so you can when when these things are happening, you can feel that. Of course, and and because we know the players, we know when you know they look at each other, and we know when they try to tell something to each other because we've yeah. been there for so long and we've yeah. seen them compete uh, against each other. So uh, we try to capture this. It's not always easy, but uh, that's that's the type of thing that makes our job more specific and and maybe more interesting. Is try to capture these uh, these moments. Um, when, when we talk about these, um, these aspects, um, I, I, I suspect that there is kind of a, not a conflict, but it's like you, you're going to see a, a kind of a photogenic side of the, of the player, which is a, a physical um, uh, expression. And then at the same time, like you say, you also develop, and especially in a case like yours, where you've been in, in, in the world of badminton for so many years, you also worked as a journalist, so you're going to know the players. Yep. On, on a personal side um, as well, so you, you're gonna it's it's kind of a f uh, you're gonna see the player's game face, yeah, and at the same time you know the you know what's behind here. Yes, yes. But in the, in the in the moment you're looking for the the photogenic side, yes. Yeah, uh, we we try to capture the story more than just the aesthetic thing. Uh, so. Yeah. For us, it's it's mm -hmm. good to capture the emotions, uh, whether it's a good one or a bad one. Of course, once again, as a human being, me being quite sensi sensitive, mm -hmm. if I see someone that I like, that I have a good mm -hmm. relationship with in a bad position or sad or angry or even worse, the injury, that's, that's always been a very big conflict of mine is when you know some of my friends get injured on court. What do I do? Yeah. I don't want to jump and, yeah. and look like a paparazzi and take the pictures and I feel terrible because mm. I just want to be there and help them and do something. But my job is also to capture this because th this is what's happening. That's, mm. you know, their life is about the good moments and the bad moments. And then I tell myself, okay, this is a really tough moment. But maybe three, you know, a few months after this or a few years after that, they'll look into this picture and they'll say, this was a bad time of my life, but now I'm doing better. I've recovered and it was part of the process. So mm. I have to capture it. and and. Being, you know, a pro photographer, there are things that I have to do and I don't like. Yeah. But I have to do it, so uh, so I do it. But you know, <laughs> deep inside, I can tell you that I don't want to take these pictures. So it's it, it's quite emotional and demanding and yes, draining yes, sometimes draining. to be like like, it is like draining. you know. And I am also on the coaching side, so I, I know how it is to be on the yeah. coaching. <laughs> you know, it's different. Yes. And it's it's really going to drain you. You yeah. know, being emotionally caught up in, yeah. in things, and at the same time, you need to. Kind of do your job, yes, which yes, is yes. also what, yes. what happens in exactly. your case. It's a bit of a same feeling when you're a coach and somebody involved in the game where you cannot act. Mm. You know, the players is acting. The player is 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 yeah, got that's everything a game in phase, that. Yeah, it's yeah, a game phase. Yeah, yeah. But as the outsider, you feel, and but you you can't do anything, and that's uh, it takes a lot, and and it's draining. It's the right word. It's uh, we we finish the matches and the, the days. It's uh, it's uh, we're just. Completely, uh, completely <laughs> out of energy, uh, both physically because it's tough and it's long days, but yeah. also emotionally where we had to be focused uh, for so long, and we also live all kind of emotions, you yeah, know, yeah, throughout yeah. throughout the days, especially in the later stages of the the, um, the tournaments or during the big tournaments, the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like constant pressure from yeah. day one because all the players that we know have been, you know, fighting and, yeah, and yeah. training for this yeah. this match on day one. On the first session, and you're here, and you're you're capturing this emotion. That's that's crazy, mm. and it's, it's like that for twelve days. So yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's that's just that's drama going on. It's drama, uh, yeah, every match. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's uh, so you are, you actually also have to kind of do you think about you know because I of course now my playing you know uh, as a player uh, the first things come to mind is do you prepare you know about how you how you eat how you drink before you know stepping on 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 court <laughs> here because actually. No. And n maybe uh, one thing is here at All England, uh, but you've been following the, all the big events also in Asia. Mm. 
and sometimes in Asia the temperature can be crazy hot. Yeah, yeah. So how is it to, to be in your position <laughs> we, next we to survive. the court? You must be. Yeah, you survive. Okay, you it's find a, a way to survive. Yeah, it's yeah. A, because we can't say we're gonna eat at one o'clock because you know the mattress <laughs> is not a football match. It it st you know yeah, when it starts I, I know. and yeah. you don't know when it ends. So. We just go by the floor and we know that during the seven days of the tournament we'll be living like crazy, not sleeping much, not eating much, or eating at crazy times, or not eating at all. But it's part of the thing, you know, the yeah. adrenaline yeah. is so high that uh, we go through this. Of course, the next Monday, it's, you know, you, you just sleep all day and then uh, you recover because yeah. that's what it's it's a wow for for you know the the time of the tournament and it's okay yeah. it's but everybody does that all the volunteers mm. they also have crazy hours mm. all the officials the organizers they don't sleep you know it's mm. it's like this uh, but it's it's part of being um, you know part of big events is that uh, everybody just put their best and and all the rest is not so important and differently from players i think you have to be very cautious about the way you sleep the way you eat we don't have that facility, we don't have that privilege. We no. just have to go with the flow and, and follow the hours. When we have a bit of time to eat, we eat over our computer when yeah. you know the photos are uploading. It's yeah. bad food <laughs> yeah. and, and it's not uh, very healthy, but you know, there's no other way around it. So, right. yeah. I guess it's, 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 it's kind of a good thing to talk about that once in a while and say, you know, all these people putting in a uh, crazy amount of hours yeah. uh, for, for the time the tournament is going on. Mm. Uh, and what we see in the end is is uh, is your pictures of of the winners, uh, yeah. you know, the losers. Uh, uh, that's that's what the outside world is seeing. But there's a there's a whole uh, world going on behind the scenes, yeah, yeah. and it takes a huge effort for, for all of these volunteers. As yeah, well, yeah. So, uh, <laughs>